And this is the glioblastoma there. That, that's it. What you see is, in part, the tip of the iceberg. Glioblastoma is the deadliest form of brain cancer, with a median survival rate of 14.6 months. Grim news Dr. Robert Fenstermaker has delivered for a quarter of a century. The problem with glioblastoma is that that will eventually come back. Microscopic cells that remain even after surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation. Now early results from an experimental cancer vaccine show the potential to delay recurrence and double life expectancy. It's, what, 14 to 16 months for traditional treatment for glioblastoma. That's right. Now you're giving them 28 months, maybe 30 months. What is it like to give someone that extra time? This is a very exciting uh, thing for me. The vaccine, still in trials, is called Cervax-M, the creation of fenster maker and scientist Mike Sichelsky at Buffalo's Roswell Park Cancer Center. It's been a simple product, but the science behind it is complex. The vaccine, given in the arm just like a flu shot, targets the protein Survivin that keeps cancer cells alive. The premise, kill the Survivin, kill the cancer. We think it has great promise for treating many different kinds of cancer. And there are now early studies looking at Cervax M for multiple myeloma and children's brain tumors. I've just felt that, you know, there, there can't be any downside to doing it. You know, I mean, what's the worst that could happen? John Wishman is still doing jobs around the house, something his daughter Lydia couldn't imagine when his brain cancer came back just under two years ago. I think being a nurse, I knew about this disease and I was absolutely terrified. Today, the 62-year-old is still working and living, getting Cervax M boosters every two months. And how do you feel? I feel normal. For this family, normal never felt so good. Ann Thompson, NBC News, Buffalo. <laughs> You're gonna see your neighbors. You know, the crumbs are great people. Mm -hmm. I know, I'm excited. Hopefully we'll have